Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with the Vintage Haul sale. Everything must go. And more. And more. Okay, if you want to buy something, and I'll put in the, the uh, directions there, or description I should say, vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com. PayPal only. I still have this beautiful Judith Ripka ring in sterling. Really pretty. She does excellent work. Her stuff is fabu fabulous cut. Uh, and it's a size 8. Size 8. Beautifully done in sterling. Um, I believe it's a CZ stone to make it look like it's a peridot because that would be one gorgeous peridot. But she does use genuine stones and CZs. But I have no way of testing it. So if you would like that, we're going to go with 48. 48 for the Judith Ripka. Here comes the crickets. I have another one of these. They're really cute. It's really cute. It's I think it's faux pearl with some rhinestones. If anybody wants that, we could do that for $10. Then we have the set. It's a bracelet, really nice, weavy look. And it's marked, let me get you a close up, Napier. So we have the bracelet and we have the necklace and the bracelet was over here. <laughs> it's okay. The bracelet real quick is uh, seven inches and the necklace will be uh, that looks like 20 a little over 20 inches so like 21 it's really in nice shape really pretty it's an everyday thing goes with everything and that would be 18. 18 for the set. These are Moon Glow Gray Screwback Earrings. Beautiful glow to them. If anybody would like these, they would be five bucks. Um, I could put a bottom on here. This is a stick pin with a mother of pearl heart. And it's got some gold wire here. Um, if anyone wants that, that's $8. Then we have this beaut. This is this could be Christmas. This could be anything. Whatever you want it to be. Um, this is made by Star. It's got a cartouche there that's kind of carshmooshed. But yeah, I mean, some of the them are a little bit darker right here like that. But it's still gorgeous. This would be 18. This is a classic, I think they call them prom necklaces or something. If anybody wants this, it would be $8. These are usually generally pretty short. It's got the, um, the shepherd's hook here with a little stone. But I think it's about, yeah, it's 15 inches. It's a 15 incher. Yeah. 15 inches so it's still it's I mean it's beautiful it's I don't know classic anyway that would be eight dollars then we have this bracelet does anybody want this it's expandable it's got a good stretch to it um, that's just how the plastic is it's not losing its color it's how it's molded um, it's pretty neat if you know how to put it on. Yeah. <laughs> Epic fail. All right. No, just kidding. I've had a lot of coffee today. Look at that. Mmm. I have had a lot of coffee. Yes. Okay. Anybody want this? This would be seven. Neato. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I've had a lot of coffee, but I'm, I'm calm. No shakes or nothing. 
But, you know, I go to the drive through in Starbucks and they said, I'll have a venti Americano with an extra shot of espresso. And many times they'll say, do you realize it already has four shots in it? And I say, nothing. I, I absolutely just say nothing because I don't know what to say. I'm like gobsmacked. I don't know. I just, I don't know what to say except for, okay. This pearl beauty is, it's got a little bit of wear because it's old. This is really pretty. And the pearls, the faux pearls stand up high like that. But yeah, I like my coffee strong. This is seven and a half inches, and this would be $9. It's really pretty. Maybe the queen wore it at some point, I don't know. But look at this, yep, this is Sarah Coventry. I believe it's called Coffee and Cream. Hence the colors. This, you know, this will fit, you know, over an eight inch wrist. It's just, can you get it over your hand? I don't have tiny hands, but I can get over my hand. And it's not, it's not small. It's a good size. It's a beaut. This would be 18. If anybody wants that. Then I have this actually, um, what the heck, you know? It's not vintage, okay, but it's working and it's real coach. A little scratch is normal. This is leather. It's beautiful. If anybody wants this, I'll I'll do it at 40. It's very pretty. 40 bucks is a good deal on that. This I believe how could I forget? I love the necklace. I believe this is Sarah Coventry. Yeah. It is a heart necklace. It's kind of articulated. This thing moves back and forth. That's the back. Cute little thing with some little um, CZs in it. Fold it over kind of like that. It's really cute. I'm going to do 15. And it's an 18 inch drop, 18 inch necklace for 15. Put it there. Then we have this necklace. Very rustic, very, not sure what to call it, but these I believe are glass or stone. And it's got this hook on it. Uh, it's got the name all over it, which is Delphine Nardine, Nardin, Paris. Okay. It's, it's very, very artsy, very cool. I'm going to give you the measurements. And that would be 17 inches. So that's really cool. And this would be 28. Then we have this beautiful fall necklace. This is a short one also, um, cause it's older. It's got the ABs, that's the back of it. Thermoset leaves for the fall, beautiful leaf cup. Fall colors, and that's 17 inches. You can always put extenders on these if you love it enough. Oh, okay, we're gonna do 16 for that. Then we have this, remember this old one? That's the clasp, super cool. I just have to take the knot out of it. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It didn't even go anywhere, but I will do that. Um, that is the top. It's silver plated. 
You can see it has maybe a tiny bit of wear on the edges. But I think it enhances it. I think it looks pretty. It looks pretty. Forgetting my words. A little bit of wear on there. I mean, it's it's really old. So, and it has the tongue and groove clasp type thing. I can get that little twisty out. But yeah, this, I'm going to measure it for you. I believe it's 18 inches or 16. I got to measure it. No problem. I feel like somebody's talking about my ears are ringing. Or could it be all the caffeine? All right. My, let's see. 18 inches. Okay. That's how it's done. It's so pretty. And remember I said it reminds me of the, the acorn one a little bit, right? Where's my acorn at? Let's see. In comparison to that. Right? They're both old. This one's different. It's kind of the same. Really cool. Anyways, um, this one is going to be 34. I have to do that because... As they say, I paid up for it, but that's a, that's a good price because I paid a lot more. I don't want to talk about it, but I have these gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful earrings. They would go like this. Very, very fancy, very regal, very, you need to find a party to go to. Nerdis Nice. I think that's how you say it. It's French. <laughs> I was going to say France, and then I changed my mind and said French. But yeah, these are gorgeous. These I'm going to do for 18. And they're just special. That's all. They're just special. This I got, and I never wore it. But that's the that snake clasp. I feel bad that I never wore it, but um, I don't. I don't think that's anything right there. It's all secure. A B green glass. This is like a little painted metal gold tone, and <laughs> I'm annoyed. Let's see. Uh, Let's get a measurement, Sal. 18 inches. Sorry about that. 18 inches. Okay. And this would be 12. 12. I still have this. Nobody purchased it. And one of my viewers, thank you very much, had said that it was red jasper. So, uh, this is doesn't have a clasp. It's got the cloisonne in the middle. And it's 32 inches. And we'll do 18 on that. We have these beautiful screw back earrings. They have the guilloche roses. Uh, a B stones, um, rhinestones in there, and they're screw back. There's a little paint wear on the back because they're painted white, and they're a beautiful thing and adorable. And those would be eight dollars. This is a clattering, it has some British sterling marks in it. And it is sterling, and it's going to be, um, I'm going to say it's an eight and a half. Eight and a half. And that would be 42. And it's not that thin either. It's a pretty good size. 42 for that. Um, I love this. It's kind of a heavy enameled 
gold tone Christmas brooch, very big. And I can do this for eight bucks. We have these Sarah Coventry earrings in perfect condition. And we could do those for six bucks. Then we have this. This is eight inches, so it's for a larger wrist. Mine used to be close to eight before I shrunk it down, but it's got some stone there, blue, and that's the clasp. It's an inch inch with the cabochons. They are not glass from what I could feel. These are made from, I believe, I always forget her name, Sadie Green. And they're made with different elements from vintage jewelry. And this would be 28. Here's another Sarah cover. Well, Emmons before it was Sarah. This beautiful one. This, it, it may be Autumn Splendor. I'd have to look it up again. But yeah, it's marked Emmons. So Emmons is what Sarah Coventry was before Sarah Coventry. This is really large, beautiful for fall. Not picking up how great it is, but it's four and a half inches, guys. And this would be 32. Four and a half inches. I mean, that's amazing. Here's something cute. This would be $3.00. And it's a Russ Thanksgiving pin for $3. It's plastic. This is a, says it right there, Monet Pisces necklace, 18 inches. That's the back, that's the front. And this would be 16. Let me see what else I have. Ready to go. This is beautiful. It's enamel and sterling. It's marked on the back. And on the... Not clasp. You know what I mean. On the bail. Really pretty. Sterling. And this would be... 28. I have another one that's similar. That I love. And it's somewhere. Believe you me. It is somewhere. But yeah. Um, I found it, but then I lost it. Go figure, Sally. Anyways, these for eight bucks. We've got some some random angels. And if I find any more, I'll throw them in. But yeah, what did I say? Eight bucks? No, six bucks. I'm sorry, six bucks for all these little angel pins. Six bucks. Adorable. This pin is not a bar pin for a tie, but it's just a, it's a Givenchy 1978 little bar pin. At first I thought it was for something for a tie, but if anybody wants this, I'll do 18. The, the Givenchy 1978 bar pin with kind of like a yellow mustard enamel and some pave crystals there. What else we got, folks? Oh, we got Mr. Lobster. He would be $7. Lucky number seven with a faux, um, what do you call that? A faux stone. It's plastic. It's not real. Like, and this is gold tone. But lobster lovers represent, okay? 
this is trying to look like coral. It's pretty cool. What did I say this was? Did I say this? I don't remember. Five bucks. Five smackers. All right, what else we got? I think that's it for today. The only thing I was examining, this isn't for sale yet because I don't know what it is, but um, this is marked 925, and then you have this onk, and I cannot for the life of me read what that says. It's J Goosebumps Coriander Conjure Sterling. I don't know what that says. So until I find out, because it's sterling and this is marked 925, maybe some of these were replaced. It's really old and weird. So I don't know exactly what to make of it. I don't know why. It's it's never been cleaned. It looked like it came out of the the ground. This is marked with something I don't know what it is. So if anybody can read that, that would be fantastic. I don't know what that says. It's making me crazy. I know the other thing says Sterling, but the name is kind of weirdly stamped. Guberman? I don't know what it says. But yeah, I've never cleaned it, and I've had it for many, many years. And I don't know. So, if you have a clue, appreciate it. That'd be great. And that will conclude my sale for today. And like I said, get in touch with me, vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com. And I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. And hope everybody in Florida is doing okay and um be safe all right talk to you soon guys thanks bye